You know when your hair's that long that it's coming out the hat? Yeah, that's when you know you need to get trimmed. Oh, Yo, I'm really hella ill, like really hella ill So chill, give a chill, girl, I meet me in the hills I meet safe in the hills I'm back, Jib just, uh, I think, didn't I upload yesterday? <laughs> but today we're gonna be talking about something a bit more relevant So the Logan Paul and KSI press conference The part two of the press conference that was in the UK, London, England Where I stay It came out yesterday on YouTube The ho everything, the whole of social media was talking about it Talking about these two YouTube icons that are gonna have a fight and I just thought let me just throw in my little you know little video talking about it I watched the footage this morning having a bit of breakfast it was great I was watching it and I saw a couple of things that I wanted to point out again the reigning defending YouTube charm of the world K S I Welcome to London, motherfucker! Oh, shit! So, I'm not biased towards any of these YouTubers, even though I'm from the UK. I kind of do like KSI more, because he didn't show a dead body on YouTube. The press conference went down pretty well. There was literally no supporters for the Logan and Jake, you know, side. No one really cares about Deji's fight, and I don't either. Mm, I'm not really going to talk about Deji and Jake Paul because Jake Paul is just, uh, you know, Walmart and, you know, Comedy Shorts Gamer, he's just, you know, um, boring. I, I'm just going to talk about the two big dogs, the two top dogs, the two ones that are actually being relevant and actually get views on their videos a lot. Obviously, Comedy Shorts Gamer and Jake Paul both get views, but, but I don't think they have the same status as Logan Paul and KSI, so what's the point of even talking about two irrelevant YouTubers that I don't even watch? Like Comedy Shorts Gamer used to make chicken nugget eating videos back in the day. And what does Jake Paul do? Blow up houses and that. But then you're probably thinking, why are you talking about Logan Paul when he made a video about a dead body and then killed a rat? I don't know either. Or, well, what about KSI? He used to do rape faces in his old videos, but I don't really care about that, yeah? I'm a KSI fan for life. KSI owned the press conference, let's be honest. The UK was all 100% KSI fans, and I'll be throwing up footage on the screen of little clips when I'm midway through speaking, and I'm about to speak, and then I insert a clip right here. Welcome to London, motherfucker! And then I come back a few minutes later and talk about the same thing, so that's what I'll be doing in this video. <laughs> KSI literally owned the whole press conference, let's be honest, like 100% of the fans were his. He was owning it. He wore a wig as well that kind of didn't even match up with Logan Paul's hair colour, but it's a pretty nice wig, I'll probably wear it to go sleep. He walked in and did like a little dance that, I don't know what it's called, but it's probably a Fortnite dance that little kids have been talking about. Fans were also older than, you know, Jake and Logan's fans. You know, they, they look like they were, they were about 14, 15, 16, maybe even 17. There was a couple 25 year olds in the crowd too, but I think they were just there. Uh, I don't know. He talks about Logan Paul's girlfriend a lot in, in the press conference as well, but it's pretty much irrelevant to me because I don't even know who the woman is. I don't even know if many people watching this video even know who Chloe Bennett is. Probably gonna research that and do your own research, but I'll let you do that yourself. But let's be honest, it did not live up to the hype that we thought it was. We thought this press conference was actually gonna be a real life press conference. You know, when the boxers actually like, sit down and they ask questions about each other and they kind of intimidate each other. There wasn't even a face off between Logan Paul and KSI, so there's literally no hype. All it was was KSI basically bullying Logan Paul and bullying him to the point where he went off the stage. I feel like KSI addressed everything. Oh, wait, JJ. London, I'm out. Just, I'll see you oh, August 25th. I'm not saying I don't like it, but I'm saying that it wasn't as entertaining as the last one. But anyways, hopefully you like this in-depth analysis of the press conference. Obviously, everything I said is 100% true. KSI is going to lose to Logan Paul and uh, Deji is going to pass out in the round four of the fight. Like this video, leave a like on this video, comment what you thought of the video, comment if I'm a 10 out of 10 on a good day, and also subscribe to the channel because I'm kind of dying and I need some subscribers. I don't like it, but I'm saying...